thanks, G-Man. Well, this morning, well, you know how much we love our coffee on your Feel Good Breakfast show, so we've decided we're going to be exploring the world via coffee. Now, we know that millions of people around the world start their day with a cup of coffee, but depending on where you are from all over the world, yours might look very different and even taste different to the Jacobs that we know and love here on your Feel Good Breakfast show and at home. So we are about to taste, when I say we, <laughs> Wasty and you, and they're about to taste three of the most interesting coffee traditions traditions from around the world. Gentlemen, are you ready for this culinary extravaganza? I, I, I am, but why did she just exclude herself exclude from this? Herself yeah. from this? Because there's only two cups and, you know, we don't share since COVID. Like so. Oh, wow. This oh, is wow. Okay, okay, cool. So what are we tasting? So, gentlemen, the two coffees in front of Ewan is the Kaiser Merlang. So, so excuse the pronunciation, but it's okay. from Austria. Okay. It's made with strong black coffee and then mixing an egg yolk and honey. Just like that, an egg, Just yolk. Like an egg yolk. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys are half buff buffins. But well, yeah, for the <laughs> egg white. Oh, egg white is the protein, <laughs> not the egg yolk. So, Sorry, wait, so now you're getting on. the egg yolk. Okay. It smells egg yolk. Does it smell? Let me smell. It smells egg. Let me smell. Just smell. Can you smell the egg? Mm, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's how you start the tasting. <laughs> now I don't like the smell of egg. If I told you there was egg in there, would you have tasted oh, it? Oh, of course, I can really? taste it. Of course, I can definitely taste it. Because I actually think I got a, a bit of the scramble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not okay. It's not that bad. I just think that the egg adds a different type of body to it in yeah. a way. So, but it is on the it's nose. A, it's eh? a, it's the a egg. fuller, deeper, it adds a fattiness to it. Eggier, yeah. fattier. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say this yeah. would be I my mean, favorite. But then again, yeah. If I am in Austria, yeah. I will most certainly try. When they probably when make it different too. You know, we're just taking the literal interpretation of it. You and I feel like you hardly tasted that. No, I, I don't. Mm. Give, give it a gulp. Yeah, Carl. No, I did. I did. I had. I had a large well, gulp. Yep, if you sure. thought that was bizarre, let's move over to our next coffee, okay. which is in front of Wasty. Okay. Yes. This is the coffee oast, which is from Finland. All right. Now, coffee oast is black coffee with chunks of cheese <laughs> placed at the bottom of the coffee, and it is said to resemble the taste of tiramisu. Ha uh ha. -huh. Traditionally. Finnish bread cheese is made from reindeer milk and is added to soak up the coffee. But as an alternative, we've used some halloumi and it is the same squeaky texture that you can expect. So I'm about to say, where do we find a reindeer? Good no, <laughs> this is this is as close to. So what are the spoons for? I think it's for you to just stir the cheese or maybe have some cheese infused. Coffee. Oh look at that! Oh. We actually have. Cheese I don't know why Jacobs doesn't get really? onto this version. You know what I mean? All new Jacob's no, now, guys. I'm so now glad peanut I'm butter and this. coffee is definitely not strange. So, so what, do, do you get some tiramisu from it? Uh, do I have really. to bite the halloumi as well? No, you don't. You don't eat your etiquette. <laughs> yeah. oh. We are squeaky. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes so good. Oh, we don't even have serviettes for you to well, like. I'm not, I'm... <gasps> the flavor, the texture is great. The halloumi has absorbed the coffee well. Mm. It's a bit it's but rich. I, coffee I, and cheese. What do you think? I do think, though, if you're in Finland, obviously it's super cold. Um, so this will definitely uh, uh, heat you from the inside out, mm. uh, from all which ways. Are you going to eat um, some cheese now? Bite, bite the cheese. I'm, I did bite the cheese. Where did you bite the cheese? Oh, there we go. I no. should have said it's a squeaky texture. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. I mean, yeah. Ah. Um, it's really delicious. I mean, you should taste it. Okay, well, we've gone from Austria to Finland. Why don't we not, move not over better. to Italy? Now, next is the Espresso Romano, and okay. it is from Italy. This is made with a single shot of espresso and served with a fresh peel of lemon on the rim of the cup. So oh, this cool. should be okay. refreshing. Lemon. Gentlemen, I'll pass this coffee Thank you. along Thank to you. Thank you. Okay, I'll be, I'll be very honest with you. I still have a loomy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have done that one last. Mm. But I think this one will be more refreshing. Okay, let's so this... go in. That's the lemon peel. Yep. This tastes like very healthy. Like almost like a pre-workout drink. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like something yeah, that's going to give kick you a kick and well, cleanse at the same time. This is very nice. This is oh, This is great. Mm. I think out of all. All three, this, this is probably one. the best one. Yeah, this is the best one. See, yeah. we saved this the best great. for last. Also, but... hold on. It's now pairing well with the halloumi. Mm. That's, <laughs> that's actually quite lovely. And the egg yolk we had earlier. 
Oh, mm. listen. It all comes together in we the end. We have breakfast and <laughs> have this coffee and coffee. You had <laughs> breakfast and coffee. Listen, so incredible. But here is the question. What do you think is the ultimate South African way of enjoying a cup of coffee? Mm. I mean, I personally love a little bit of sugar and some milk in my coffee. I think a lot of other people would, you know, mm. have their differences you know and what? preferences. Um, what do you think? For me, it's very easy. It's mm. simple. Uh, I call it a comp coffee. Yeah. Uh, it's simply black coffee, a little bit of sugar and a marshmallow on top. Oh. Done. Marshmallow. Done. Yes. Oh, then it melts. It creates Ooh. it all. Yeah. It's I'm thinking like a coffee, right? Mm. But then we take a piece of boudoir and we put it in there oh, to no. get all oh. the aromatics. You really ah. want to yeah. go South African boudoir. I would go proper South African. That is <laughs> full on South Africa. Now, I know that we love our Jacob's Instant Freeze Dried Coffee. And we also love dipping an Omar Rusk in our coffees, which is so unique. Some people love powder milk. You know one of them? Powder <laughs> milk. The you know, like the get that creaminess going. But this is obviously, I think that's the beauty of the way you enjoy your coffee. There's so many ways to enjoy it. And there really is a whole world of coffee out there waiting to be explored. Now, if the egg yolk or the cheese combo doesn't quite work out for you, then just stick to your favorite Jacobs and let us know online what your favorite way is to enjoy your coffee. And if you have any unusual or interesting combinations, we would love to hear from you. Share those with us online. And who knows, we might get these two to taste again. <laughs> getting your protein in there today. <laughs> so I was just about to take another. Three, the, two, one, go. A small little coffee halloumi oh. bite. Mm. Oh. Here's to the coffee magicians. The ones who know what you get out starts with what you put in.